Hello, Rudy. How are you? Hello. Good night. Uh, well, today I'm um a little bit tired <laughs> due to the traffic. Okay. Good. Remember, Rudy, it's not good night. Good night is goodbye. Okay. Good evening. Correct. There you okay. go. Rudy. Excellent. I think. Okay, Rudy. Acaba de llegar y ya se va. Dije, wow, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm, it's a lot of traffic, Rudy. Yeah, I live in Santa Tecla uh, near uh, Los Chorros Street, uh, uh -huh. so I have to pass uh, in the traffic every day. I understand. Yeah, sometimes, especially when it's raining, right? I imagine yeah. there's more traffic when it rains. Yeah, the people I, I think is uh, more angry today. And I don't know why, but I think the, the traffic and the rain, uh, I don't know. It's like a mix. Good. Uh -huh. Remember, the people are angrier. The people are angrier. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. And how was your day, Rudy? What did you do today? Today, I uh, wake up uh, at 5 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. I... Uh, went to my work mm -hmm. uh, at 5 50 a.m okay. i took a, i took a bus and when i get to my work uh, the first i did is to uh, open and turn on my laptop my computer and i started to work at that hour uh, because in the morning i was uh, doing uh technical i don't know the the word pruebas mm -hmm. technicas okay test the, the technical, technical test, test. Mm -hmm. thank you and uh, in that moment uh, i can't use my laptop because i'm sharing the screen so that's why i started at 6 30 a.m and after that i uh, took my lunch and in the afternoon, I think uh, I, I, I went in two or three meetings uh, of different topics in, in my area. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did in my work. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. A lot of activities actually, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That gives you an opportunity to, the day goes by quickly. Yeah, it was quickly. Okay, great. All right. So what are we going to do? Just like with Rudy and I, uh, we're going to take one moment and quickly we're going to discuss about your day, ask a few questions, discover what happened with your partner. And then we come back only a few minutes, not a long time, um, just to make sure that we're using our verbs in the past tense. Remember, focus using the verb in the past tense and listen to your partner with the activities in the past tense. Yes. Okay, teacher. All right, perfect. Let's go quickly and then we'll come on back. what we did in the day yes yeah like a recap who wants yeah to how, how do you start your day hello yeah hello, Krishna. oh did you christian left or you moved to another room you're, you're you are in mute. mute. Sorry, Christian went to another room. Okay, okay. perfect. But, okay, Eduardo. Mm -hmm. Do you want to, to pass first? Or? Uh, I, uh, a car crashed me, so I 
suffered a surgery a few months ago, but now, but nowadays, I am on therapies because I, I am recuper, recuperating the mobility. Wow, that's important to you. Yes, I try to do my best. Wow, congratulations for you. Thank you. So Hello. what about your, your day? Hello, Laura. Uh, I, uh, I made a, a, a coffee. And then I I prepared my tools for it. I start with the a journey on the on the work, and then uh, I start to work. And I ha I I had my break at eight a.m. and I uh, I took my breakfast, and then um, I continue working as like uh 11 30 then i i went to i went to buy the things for the for the uh, lunch and i start to uh, cook uh, my lunch obviously and then i continue working <laughs> and my i leave it to the world at uh, 3 8 p.m then i I slept some time, for example, two hours. I don't know. I think that was two hours. And I, I uh, had my, my, uh, no, I wait, I, I wait for my uh, girlfriend because she uh, gone to the site today and right now I enjoy to the English class because uh, yes it's time uh, this is my current activity right now and you Christian tell me about oh, okay well, my day start at hey David welcome All right, everybody's here. Perfect. So, yesterday Teacher, we. Yes. I have a problem, and I I am in a traffic uh, near my house. I am driving. Okay. Uh, it's difficult difficult for me participate sometimes because I don't know what happened, <laughs> and that is very bad. The traffic is terrible. Okay, I change your name to that way we know that you are going to be a listener today. No problem. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sure thing. Okay. All right, guys. So today we're going to review a little bit about the gestures that we learned yesterday. Let's take a look and what do they mean? Just today we were looking at feelings, emotions, things like that. Okay. So here we have several different ones. Look at number one. What do you think is the meaning of number one? Look at that idea. What does that mean? That sounds crazy. Okay, so that sounds crazy. Okay, let's take a look there. Good, what about number two? Look at number two, what is number two? Here. Come here. Come here. Come here, okay, good, good. Number three. Silence. 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 Good, good. Number four. Peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. Good. Be quiet. Yeah. Peace and love. Uh huh. And the last, not the last one, but number five. Promise. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. And the last one, number six. Listen. I can hear you. Okay, or I can't hear you. I can hear you. Uh huh. I can't hear you. Okay, very nice. Those are some of the gestures. Remember, what were gestures? Gestures are physical things that you do. 
to describe emotions, right? These are some of the physical things that we do. So as an example, the gesture, when the baby is sleeping, the people go, what does that mean? Be quiet. Be quiet, exactly. That's the idea of what we're going to discuss today. Today, we're gonna to be discussing about gestures nationally, internationally, and have different ideas for different cultures and things. In the chat, you can see that we have a link. Make sure that you open up the link to have questions for our conversation about gestures. Okay, as an example, open the link from the chat so that you have all of the questions so you can discuss with your partners about gestures. It's open. Yes, okay, perfect. So if you look in there, we have many different questions. The first one, What are some gestures you know? Correct. As an example, what is this gesture? Have you seen this gesture before? Yeah, it's yes. okay. It's like it's okay. perfect, maybe. Perfect, okay. Yes. Oh, mm, very nice. This is perfect for El Salvador, but not perfect for the United States. What is for the United States? Okay. Mm. Clear. <laughs> no. Nice. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, in the United States, is for white power, is racist, is for the Nazis. Poder blanco in the United States. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. For the uh huh. So that's why we're going to discuss today. Not always the same idea for our country is the same in the other countries. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the things that we're going to learn today. In case you didn't know, and even now, for example, some gestures, another gesture. Have you ever seen this gesture? Help. No, yes. Never. Never, Byron. Never. Wow. See, this is the international symbol for ayuda, for help. When you are in the online and you need assistance. Mm. Mm. So somebody said like this, you think they are saying, hello, no, this is, ayúdame, <laughs> ayúdame, auxilio. Uh, this is what it means. Okay. Imagine, imagine, cuántas veces le han pido ayuda y ni sabían. This is why wow. you know, are part of the culture. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. maybe hi how it's are crazy. you crazy uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you only, you only move the head uh, like uh, only for up, up like a hello, <laughs> like, hello. Yeah. and they and they try to uh, get help <laughs> yeah yes that's why it's very specific because many people in the pandemic suffered from abuses mm -hmm from the husband or other, from wife or from other people, and they needed a way. So they invented this gesture. So that's what you're going to talk about today with your partners. Similar like that, all of those different questions. Okay, what are some of the gestures that you know, if that's the question or other questions? You decide with your partners, which questions are most appropriate for you. Before we begin, are there any questions, any vocabulary you don't understand? No? We are ready? No, no. I think so. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and do it.
Ouais. Does someone can hear me? I can hear you, Christian, but I don't know what happened with Alvaro and Herson. Okay. Oh, I was thinking that I have a problem with my mic, but no. Okay. Alvaro Herson? Okay. So, because Alvaro and Herson cannot participate, I'm going to move you to another group so you can practice and Alvaro and Herson can stay here. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. One more time, checking. Alvaro Herson? Okay. Eh, son como aquellos alumnos que solo activan para que estén ahí, pero no están participando. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. I cannot participate, teacher. Okay, we, we can, I can, I choose one of them, it would be, it would be, what are some insulting gestures in your country? <laughs> Who wants to answer? What are some? Can you repeat what, the question? Yeah, what are some insulting gestures in your country? Is the yes is the third question? Maybe when the people show you the middle finger. The middle finger, right? <laughs> I think this is the most common gesture here. The other when a boy take the hand to the girl, and the person start to move the middle finger into the. Mm -hmm girl's hand that is insulting in some cases. <laughs> uh, uh, when, okay. <laughs> you said that, for example, with a man, it touch the middle of the arm, or the hand, I'm sorry. And yeah, how that, you... When your friend is talking about some someone yeah. else, and <laughs> it, he is near and like, yeah. oh, I guess. <laughs> This, he's calm or she's calm, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. This is the common. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> and you, yeah, David? Yes. David, are you here? This gesture that you mentioned is so funny. For me, it's so funny because uh, some, some of people... Uh, mm, try to to do this this moment moving with uh, the eyes yes yeah it's very common to do yes um i think that david uh, is unable to own the microphone if you want we can try uh, this could be an insult because we don't have a uh, the confidence uh, each other. Yes, I agree with you because it's it's you need uh, to be confident with the other person. Yes. So mm -hmm. let's think and uh, in a other gesture. Or what? we can try another question. Oh, sure. It will be better. Mm -hmm. Who who are going to select other questions? Uh, can be me. Yeah, sure. Okay. It could be. Um, what are uh, some gestures that you used when you were a child that you don't use anymore? I think the first one is to tell that I'm hungry. I used to touch my stomach and, and tell my mom that uh, I'm hungry. No, when I'm an, a young adult, I can do that anymore. I have to cook <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
that's so bad. Okay. And you like is uh, like and smile, but in the other way, uh, you smile uh, for uh, you smile down maybe you smile in the other way. Uh, like like mm, Leonardo DiCaprio's memes too. Ah yeah. <laughs> That's mm. right. Like like saying, okay, okay. You smile in the other way. Yeah. Um, let's what change. He he put his finger in front of her mouth and made, made like a move uh, sign her mouth his mouth. I, I don't know if 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 you understand what I'm trying to say. Yes. <laughs> I do. What a pity. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Mario? When I was a child, when my friends and me, we are playing in the street, and if you need to do something, we used to use a... a, a a sign you touch your hand and your front, your head and your hand, and you say pilotai, touching your hand oh. and, your, and your head. Now, oh, when you were playing hide and seek, yeah, yes, or 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 <laughs> or tentarro, tentarro, <laughs> your mom yeah. starts to scream. Fulano de tal, come on here. You say pilotai, and you, you, you need to do something else. Pro so that, I remember that. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You know what is the meaning of tai? I, I did, I did that. No, I don't know what is the meaning of of tai. Once I search in the internet, uh, it's like a uh, time. But yeah. uh, the the abbreviation or or the Salvadorian word of time. Mm. I I I heard that, but for example, we said pido pido tai tai como era pido tai, but the word is time. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. it's, it's it's like the people Salvador. say. I going to eat a uh, beef steak, but the real mm -hmm. word is beef stick. But the Salvadorian yeah. people say <laughs> beef steak. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's try another question. Mario, you select. I can read because I have issues with my internet, so I lost. Okay, don't worry. Laura and I selected the first two. Laura, do you want to select another one? Okay, just let me let me check proper quickly. Ah, oh. Can you okay? Can you say anything in sign language? Uh mm -hmm. Sign language. Uh, I think... I think I think sign is the the right pronunciation. No, no. Eh, es que. I have issues with my internet, so I can hear. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, the question is, uh, can you say anything in sign language? Yes, yes. in my case, I, I okay. can just give me one second. Really? Oh. I learned watching a movie, say, I love you. You, it's like to okay. the the rock the rock sign with your hand okay uh, oh my. okay guys how are you doing how did you feel And good. We tried to speak a little bit about the 
the sign that we we know or our gesture. Yes, I heard many different groups with many different ideas. Very good. I see that many Salvadorians have different gestures that they learn. Some people learn from the TV. Other people learn from uh, from each other or from the culture. But is good. Very nice. Any questions about feelings or any questions about gestures? No. No. Not now. Excellent. What that means no. that we can continue on then to 4.6. In this moment, this we finish 4.6, which was this exercise. Remember to complete it in your platform. And now we're going to look at here. Okay. Christian, can you please read? Sure. By the end of this class, participants will know and practice how to use models to express permissions, obligation, and prohibition. Very good. So it's okay permission, the meaning? Mm, no, to be honest, no. Can you use an example? Right here on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good huh pretty good trick <laughs> so there we go just in case making sure so those are the ones that we're going to learn about permission which is to say okay or not okay prohibition not permitted and obligation is you have to do hi let me ask you a question are you allowed to drink and drive this time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They're not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't okay, first let's review. It's okay, the meaning of prohibition. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. It's okay, the idea of obligation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. And what about permission? It's okay? It's okay. Yes. Okay, great. Because we are now going to discuss about your job and your professional life. And we're going to discuss what you are allowed to do, aren't allowed to do, or have to request to do. And as, as an example, in my job, when I want to have vacation, I need to request permission. I usually have to request it with one month in advance to make sure that I get it. Also, I am not allowed uh, to turn off my camera during the class. I must have my camera on unless I report some kind of technical issue. This is in order to ensure that everybody can understand me and see me. One of the things, as an example, you're going to talk about your job professionally. What we're going to use, you're going to describe permissions, prohibitions, and obligations. It's okay? Yes. Any vocabulary? Any words that you need that you're not sure about? No. 
No. It's clear now. Okay, clear. All right, good. Before we make the groups, I know that in the last group, we had a couple people that said they couldn't participate. Uh, let's, I'm going to change the name, but okay. Very quickly, ¿Quién estaba de oyente que no puede participar? O, o quién tenía un compañero de oyente para ponerle, así como en Ana, oyente, para que no tengamos gente que no puede participar. Uh, David wasn't able to open the microphone. Ok, perfect. Ok, we're going to have David. No problem. Vamos a cambiarle el nombre. Ok, la idea es no para que no participen, sino que para estar seguro que todos los que están de oyente pueden estar con grupos que sí están platicando para escucharlos. Anybody else? We have Ana que está de oyente, David de oyente. Anybody else? Okay, perfect. Ah, Álvaro. Thank you, Álvaro. Perfect, Álvaro. Thank you for telling me. Let's put Álvaro, de oyente. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, perfect. Okay. Como le digo, la idea es de ponerles oyente es para estar seguro que sí están de oyente de verdad en grupos y no que de repente todos los que están de oyente estén juntos y nadie va a hablar ni van a escuchar nada. Ese es el propósito, no por otra cosa. Ok. Any questions? We are ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yes. Okay. Remember, what is the objective? Describe your job, your responsibilities. Discussing permission, prohibitions, and obligations. Permission, prohibition, obligations. Pero vos estás haciendo ejercicio, no te toca. ¿Qué? Ya voy. ¿Qué pasó, mija? Ya agarraste. ¿Ya agarraste?
uh, Amadeus. You know about this uh, tool? No, you never no. hear about it. No. Okay. Yes, this this tool uh, is used uh, by a lot of uh, airlines. Uh, no. I learned uh, this tool in my first job. I always work in web health, but when I start to work was in uh, 2016. I started okay. in Volaris. I don't know if you know about yeah. Volaris. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you started in Volaris in, when he started in Torre Cuscatlan. Yes, yes. My first job was in the Torre Cuscat, in the tower, in the Cuscatlan Tower. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, the account was Volaris. I was in a Spanish transfer account. with Flyhub. No. Uh, this was my first my first uh, job. Uh, I worked in the Spanish account in Polaris for a uh, nine month. Then uh, I changed the the work, but in the same company, uh, I, I I will transfer. No, I was transferred sorry to Avianca. In Avianca, mm -hmm. I I know or I learned about GDS because to Trump. To be transferred to Flyhub, I is obligatory is obligatory that you know about uh, Amadeus because oh. it's a lot of information about travel agencies and you work with a lot of uh, airlines. But I have a uh, in this in this month I ha I have a uh, one year of uh, work in this account. Yes, for Flyhub. Uh, for me, is the is the best account in Web Hell is uh, one of the two premium accounts in Web Hell. Uh, the other is Travel Per. I don't know if you know about it. This is another travel agency. What provision do you have? Uh, the provisions uh, in in this uh, account maybe is share information about the sharing for personal information about the customer for example uh, have you have you worked have you been working in a in a different account or that's that was the first um job that you that you have no i went in an external account i didn't uh, was working in in the organization or even in the operation uh, so I applied to the position. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what about you, person? Hello. Person. Maybe it's listener too. But and no he didn't, he didn't say that he was a listener but mm -hmm. maybe he has problems i'm going to change his name um just in case that way we don't confuse in the next exercise mm -hmm. yeah probably uh, the network is uh, it's not working well mm -hmm. sometimes it happens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. yeah okay So, a document uh, yeah. with a Constancia? Uh, Constancia. I don't know how do you say Constancia. Okay. What? Suyapa? What? Medical. Ah, medical. Med doc Constancia, what? Medical what document? No, no. Finish the sentence. Constancia, what? What Constancia? Ah, uh, of the hospital. No, or, or la, la cita, the day. Ah, then it's appointment. Ah, okay. It's a, a, a medical appointment. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, a medical, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. um, I need to uh, annex that. Um, to join or to, uh, mm, to include, probably would be ah, better yes. to include. I include. Yes, mm -hmm. in my permission. Um, in my case, other permission, I take a one day 
of my vacation uh, during the week or uh, and anything in cualquier anything mm -mm. no cualquier anywhere anything ah, anywhere anything. anywhere uh -huh. month yes it's a uh, other uh, permission anywhere anywhere month oh uh, yes okay so nowhere in any month any month okay mm -hmm. okay okay, so. okay. about um, mm, I, I really hate that. I really hate to to wear a badge. Uh, I remember that, yeah, when I when I went to the side, I, I, I have to to wear it too. It's an obligation. Or other thing, for example, um, when I need like a permission to get out earlier of my shift, I had to to ask to a supervisor for that. Oh. Christian, um, you're by yourself. I think the other partner had some technical, he lost connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just saw when his profile photo just disappeared. Yeah, it just it, it, it just happened. But don't worry, we only have 23 seconds left. So only a few seconds, but okay, um, good. So let's go back and then you can tell me a little bit more about it, okay? Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, welcome back. Great job. I heard a lot of people describing and learning about each other's job and profession. And some of you were like, wow, really? I didn't know things like that. Very good. In this moment, please tell me what you learned about your partner. Okay. What did you learn about your partner? Can I be the first one? Rudy? Okay. Can I be the first one? Yes, Rudy. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so my partner was Laura Ramos. Uh, mm -hmm. I learned that uh, she's responsible for uh, important information of the clients. He works in a travel account. And also he is responsible from- He or she? She. Okay. <laughs> she's ahead. responsible for maintaining I don't know the word, but security of the the client credit cards and cre uh, client uh, personal and data information and just that. Uh, he works uh, from site and from home too. And what do you say she works in? In what account? Sorry. Uh, you said she works in uh, an account. What what type of account? Uh, in a flight account. Ah, flight account. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Laura, what did you learn about Rudy? Okay. Uh, he told me that he is allowed to work from, from home and from site. Um, also, he, he, he has to check that the the other people receive an email because uh, you work in a area like uh, Plan Carrera. Mm -hmm. I don't know how can I say that, that, okay. And also, for example, if, if someone is, tried to is, apply is, that different. Hmm? Sorry, what is Plan Carrera? Plan Carrera, uh, sorry. I, <laughs> It's like mm, go ahead. acquisition in a company, but for intern people. It's in English, it's like a career your, path, your path uh, to what you can grow in a company. For example, you can be an 
an agent. Uh, after that, you can be a supervisor, and after that, you can be a coordinator, a manager, and that. Yes. Good. It's called a career path. It's in the chat. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Laura. Mm -hmm. And also, he he told me that he he can he can work in frogs when he is in he working in his house house. Uh, also, if I'm not wrong, he said that he's allowed he's allowed to use her his cell phone when he is when he's working on site but i'm not sure and i don't to be honest i don't remember what else that he said but that's the that kind of thing that that he mentioned me okay all right yeah. thank, you. thank you very much laura great great rooting great laura all right guys who's next who's next Ooh, so many volunteers. How do we listen? How do we listen to all these volunteers? Me, teacher. Oh, right. Oh, there we, go. Uh, we didn't have time, but Byron was to talk me uh, about him. Uh, he feels job was in Volaris in a Spanish account. And then he um, worked in Avianca and then transfers in Flyhawk. Uh, he was uh, in it been a uh, one year in fly hub and um, work from home and he talked for the one prohibition it's um personal information and information the credit cards and uh, he told me the pay is good and that's all. Great. Okay. So. And it, uh -huh. uh, he uh, studied English, but um, one of the I don't know metas. How Go do you say metas? Goals. Goals is um uh, to start in a um, English account. Okay, all right. So in this moment, the flight hub is a Spanish account. No, uh, no, is is sorry, sir, but it, this account is my bilingual and bilingual. Ah, okay, okay. But you want to transfer to to uh, full English bilingual? Account. Yes, a full bilingual. Yes, because oh. obviously it's more uh, the pay is is higher, right? Um, yes, this is my goal or my objective for this year. Excellent. Good job. Very nice. Thank you. Byron, tell me a little bit about Carla. What did you learn about Carla? <laughs> to be we honest, didn't teacher. have time, teacher, because yes. it, is, uh, it was interesting, uh, the information of Byron. Ah, but, I waste, uh, he I waste all the time. about the uh, pay is uh, very interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Byron. So, Byron, do you use Amadeus? Yes, I learned Amadeus in, my, in the second account that I was. It was in uh, Avianca. Okay. I learned in this, in this account. Uh, Amadeus or GDS. <laughs> okay. Oh, a little difficult. Mm, yes, when you start, it's difficult because it's scripted. Okay, right now, uh, exist two Amadeus scripted and Amadeus graphic, I think, is the other one. But mm -hmm. for the scripted, it's only entries. Uh, you have a, a, a the page, but in this page, you need to put entries to display uh, the PNR, for example, the passengers, the tickets. You need to make a lot of entries, but all is manually, not with a button, for example. Mm, okay. Well, interesting. Well, very e nice. The is very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Byron. Excellent. 
All right. Who else? Who else? What about Christian? Christian, who who did you speak with? With Eduardo? No. Oh, honestly, I don't remember his name. <laughs> I don't remember his name, but uh, he told me that he's not allowed to, for example, he's not allowed to wear a smartwatch when he went to the, to the site because he's handling he handled uh, credit card information. Uh, mm. What else for? Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, he's allowed to dress uh, whatever he wants on site. For example, he can wear shorts, uh, pajama pants, or or any kind of clothes. For example, um, what else? Also, eat snacks on his his desk. He's allowed to to enter snacks or uh, to floor. Really? That's very strange. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, and what does he do? He works also in a call center, but he doesn't tell me in which account. Just told me that the client has a lot of restriction for them. Okay. Yeah, usually it's a lot of restrictions for most call centers, but okay. That's why I'm surprised with snacks because even, even snacks in many call centers are not permitted on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Who is, let's see, let me check. Who is Christian's partner? Christian, Christian. You had David. Ah, David was Oyente, and I think it was, who else is missing? Maybe he disappeared mm -hmm, because he's not here anymore. Uh -huh. Your partner left. Okay. He's gone. Yeah. So, Yapan, what about your partner? My partner was Eduardo Torres. And uh, he was about the obligation um, he has on time in the world. Other obligation um, he. Um, he was respect his lunch hour commenting, and um, he worked uh, connected the system is uh, um, is his obligation um, in his work about the prohibition uh, he can eat during the work. I uh, I remember <laughs> only that and permission. Uh, he he was sent the email three day before on the day off when when he was need a day off and he change 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 cambiar change change uh, his day off with the other uh, co-worker okay. yes it's a possibility okay it's a possibility yes okay nice nice good eduardo what did you learn about suyapa uh, about suyapa i learned that uh, she needs some permissions for when she has a medical appointment because she has to go with her baby to the hospital or to visit the doctor. Mm -hmm. And also some uh, prohibition that uh, she has in her job is eat at the, at the office desk. It just allow for to eat something in the cafeteria or the kitchen. And some obligation that she has uh, are to arrive 10 minutes before the chief in her job, because it's an obligation for her to stay there at least 10 minutes before. Carla. Carla Alberga. Yes, teacher. Is this legal? Sorry, teacher. Is, is, is what Eduardo said legal? 
I don't hear you. Yeah. Is what Eduardo said legal? I don't I don't hear it, Eduardo. Ah, Eduardo said that in in the case of Suyapa, right, Eduardo? Yeah. In yes, teacher. In the case of Suyapa, is the is the obligation for the company that Suyapa arrived 10 minutes before the time to begin work. Is legal or no? Uh, yeah, teacher, is the, um, um, and maybe the, um, I don't know who say, um, depend of the, um, uh, how do you say, um, depend of the, of the, I don't know. Political clauses. Well, uh, clauses. Clause. Of, of the contract. Uh -huh. But if in the contract set from eight to five, and they say no, 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 ten minutes early is not legal. Um, but uh, I ha how do you, I, ha I don't know. Uh, um, ex, uh, there are um, pautas alimenticias. Uh -huh. I don't know how Great. you say. Uh -huh. Pautas alimenticias. Yeah. Uh -huh. Food breaks. Food breaks. Um, there are some um, in... In, in various segments. Uh -huh. I think you didn't pay attention to Eduardo. Okay. <laughs> the, because eh, Suyapa, en el trabajo de Suyapa, le dicen que es obligación que llega eh, eh, uno, unos minutos o diez minutos antes que su hora de entrada. Ah, sorry, sorry. Ah, okay, no. Eh, your obligation is uh, start uh, when you start the journaling. Mm -hmm. If you journally start at eight o'clock, mm -hmm. it's your obligation. The obligation is at eight o'clock. Yeah. In this case, if you um you pass uh, minutes uh, um. 30 minutes, eh, your, eh, your obligation, eh, tu patrono, te tiene que pagar tus horas extras. Okay, okay. And what about for the call centers? Because in the call center is the same. Tienen que llegar antes porque tienen que estar listo para iniciar a esa hora. ¿Es legal? Eh, Se conectan a la hora. ¿Ah? Se conectan a la hora. A la hora que inicia la jornada. Ajá. O sea que ellos tienen que estar antes eh, porque tienen que encender la cosa. O sea, como en todo trabajo, antes. usted llega cinco minutos antes para estarse conectado, cabal a la hora que usted inicia su jornada. ¿verdad? Ajá. Okay. ok. Porque, ejemplo, pero se tienen, eh, depende de las empresas, tienen como su tiempo de gracia. Hay empresas que por lo menos, vaya, hay empresas que no tienen tiempo de gracia y que a las ocho como minutos ya les están descontando. Uh -huh. Hay otras empresas que le dan por lo menos unos 15 minutos y empiezan a descontar. O sea, depende de las empresas cuando consideran ya empezar a descontar el tiempo de jornada. Okay. Si, se, si se pasan del tiempo de cuando inicia su jornada laboral. Ok. So the, the, Pero la you... obligación de conectarse, o sea, la obligación de uno estar presente en su jornada es a partir de que inicia su jornada laboral. Y ya a esa hora tiene que estar ya conectado. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, then it's correct. So that is obligation for you to be early because if not, you don't turn on the computer, you don't connect. Yeah, lo que pasa es que es como en cualquier otro trabajo. Si usted, ejemplo, si usted no se presenta, si su jornada entra a las 8 de la, de la mañana y le dan las 8 con 10, ya no se presentó a su jornada a tiempo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
no, no, like, my, it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna finish. My question, estaba pensando, mi pregunta era por lo que, porque aquí tenemos varios que trabajan en, en call center y lugares así. Mi pregunta es porque se supone que si tu jornada es a las 8, ahí tienes que empezar a trabajar, pero parte de tu trabajo es encender la compu, tener, eh, loguear, todo eso. Eso es parte de tu trabajo, no es algo que tienes que hacer en fuera de tu jornada, o sea, entonces que no tuvieras que estar allí antes para tener listo para iniciar a esa hora, sino que a esa hora tuviera que estar allí para empezar a listar todo. Entiendo que se lo, ve, que se lo vean a la hora, entiendo, yo no sé. No sé, ok. Ellos, eh, ajá. ellos, ellos, eh, ellos lo pueden decir mejor, pues yo no, no, no me lo veo, no sé. I don't know. Yo se lo pregunté porque yo dije, Carla's the lawyer, and I think, oh, ok, I asked Carla. <laughs> no problem. It's because in the United States, it's a big, it's a big fight with Amazon in this moment for the same sí. thing. Es hey. ilegal o legal. Yes, David. Yes, yeah, it's illegal. Just, uh, just, just I, uh, the employment must to work only a hours for day and uh, the obligation for the employment is is working 44 hours in the weekend okay uh, no more no more for no me more. for it's extra pay okay okay interesting very interesting it's a lot of it's very difficult always with the lawyers it's a little complicated depend the situations But depende I, de la jornada. Y eso es todo respeto. Ah. Ajá, ya, ya, va, ya va Carla, ya oíste, ya va Carla. Ajá. Sorry. Ajá. Okay, Carla, okay. A schedule, depende the schedule. Ajá. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people yeah. have the schedule 12 hours, for example, the security. Yeah. The, the schedule is different, but jornadas extendidas. Just, just work, pues sí, pero solo pueden trabajar 44 horas a la semana. Si no, se pasan hay jornadas de esto, especiales. Hay jornadas especiales avaladas por el ministerio. ¿Mm? Ah, pero, pero son trabajos especializados. Cada Exacto, área. avaladas pero, por... Pero en el general son 44 horas a la semana. No deberían de trabajar nadie más. No, hay de 44. Aunque en la práctica... 24. Aunque en la, sí, pero, pero eso es para prácticas bien específicas. Pero igual, aquí nadie respeta eso. Todos trabajamos media hora antes. Todos llegamos media hora antes, 15 minutos antes. Ajá. Yo llego un minuto antes. Ah. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for connecting. It's great that we are talking. It's a little bit after the time, but it's okay. Tomorrow we continue and talking. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a nice bye -bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.